Hello, it's Harry. It's Friday, October 4th. I'm Destiny. And I'm Giselle. And you're watching THS TV. It's great to see so many of you dressed in pink in honor of breast cancer survivors and those battling this horrible disease. Many thanks to the Rowdy Rangers Spirit Club for all the posters and to the Cheer Squad for selling t-shirts to benefit breast cancer research. If you want a shirt, they're $15. See Ms. Mendoza in the downstairs AP's office. Tonight, the varsity football squad is taking on the Foster Falcons at 7. We're at home team and kickoffs at 7. It's also junior night, so be on the lookout for the future Terry Rangers squad. We all complain about school and homework. But learning can be fun as students in psychology learned in Coach Noble's class this week. Okay, so today um, AP Psychology students are uh, basically deconstructing and reconstructing, performing brain surgery on oranges. And so, what well, we just finished a unit on the brain and the biology of behavior. So, what they're doing is using candy and oranges um, to demonstrate their understanding of the different parts of the brain um, and their function. So, as they go through and they're working in these groups, they're um, having to use the knowledge that they already have and apply it. Um, in, apply their understanding and placing those candies or the different brain structures in the orange where they're supposed to be. All of us have our favorite singers and groups. Moses and Christian asked for you who your favorites were. Take a look. The best musical uh, duo right now in the music industry. Okay. Little Baby. Little Baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, best duo. Or actually Vicky. Kuna and Little Baby. Best yes, duo. I gotta go with my boy, NBA young boy, Fondo Rondo. Yes, the best duo right now? To be honest, I still think it's like Ray Shimmered and everything. You know, yeah. like them two. Like Ray Shimmered, like. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I get you. Okay, I bet. Appreciate that. I don't know. Best duo? I ain't gonna say new people because these new people are trash. Man, if I had to go best musical duo, hey, there's quite a few people. I could go Run DMC, Hauling Oats. I guess I'm going old school. That's before y'all time, huh? You look like, you know, you know about them dudes? Y'all know about them. Y'all gotta go read. Y'all gotta do your research, son. Huh? Who else? Before I even existed. Yeah, before you existed. Before y'all was a thought. <laughs> I'm trying to duo. Think. Best musical duo. I would start with Steely Dan. Might be a little bit old for a lot of your uh, your crowd, but very nice classic rock and roll. Take a listen. Uh, two gentlemen made all the sounds there. And then I'm gonna have to go with something. Maybe y'all know, maybe you don't. Eric B. and Rock Kim, paid in full. Look that one up. It revolutionized the musical genre. That's what I got for you. All right, so what's the best musical doing in the right now? Right now. No, not right now, but that you know of. Oh, Ike and Tina Turner. Now, who's that? Rolling on the river. Come on. What do you think it is? Okay. Hey, young boy. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, best musical duo? Well, i say NBA and probably Young and Ace. Best duo of this time? Of all time. All time? I'd probably have to go with maybe Run DMC, maybe a tie between Run DMC, Eric B, and Rakim. Best duo of this time, that time, and of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations to two of our Rangerettes. Leilani Solano was chosen as the Spirit Girl of the Week and Cassandra Fernandez was chosen as the Rangerette of the Week. The Reds, these Reds are voted on by the Rangerette officers and director for their commitment to the team. Picture retakes are Tuesday, October 15th, all day in the auditorium. Go over during an elective class or your lunch. If you did not receive your ID badge, please see Ms. Adams. Right now, teachers are going through the second round of sorting the badges. Teachers, please return any badges of students who aren't in your class to Ms. Adams as soon as possible. We want to say thank you to our custodians for all they do for us. This week is Custodian Appreciation Week, and we think our custodians are the best. 
Please be considerate of them. Pick up after yourself in the lunchroom. Don't leave trash on the floor, and especially don't stick your, your gum under the table or the desk. That's so disgusting. Gross. I agree. So be considerate of your wonderful custodians. Homecoming is shaping up to be one for the memory books. Nominations for Duke and Duchess, Prince and Princess, and King and Queen start on Monday and run through Wednesday. All students will be given access to Google Form to nominate your freshman and sophomore class for Duke and Duchess. Your junior class, Prince and Princess, and your senior class, King and Queen, you can only nominate re representatives from your class, not another grade level. All nominees must be students of good academic behavior and attendance standing. The dance is now a day glow dance with neon everything. Tickets go on sale the week of homecoming, and there's something happening every day that week. We caught up with Ms. Miles for a rundown of homecoming activities. Homecoming 2019, what to expect? A good time. This year's homecoming theme is There's No Place Like Homecoming, a play off the Wizard of Oz theme. The game is on Thursday, October 17th, followed up by the dance on Friday night, October the 18th from 7 to 11. Tickets go on sale on the 14th. It's not going to be your traditional homecoming dress up cutie pie party. It's the glow up this year. This year's party and homecoming theme is going to be the glow up. We're going to have a glow in the dark party in the cafeteria. It will be a night you will not forget. As far as homecoming themes, on Monday, rep your decade. So for all you 80s, 90s, and 2000 babies, come dress to impress. Uh, Tuesday, October 15th, character or meme day. Represent your character or your favorite meme. Keep it clean, keep it classy, keep it appropriate. On Wednesday, not American Idol, but rep your idol. Dress up as your favorite singer, movie star, assistant principal. Um, just come and rep your idol on that day. On Thursday, Senior Overall Day, several of you have asked. It is time, Class of 2020, represent Overall Day on Thursday. Also, the game that night. For everyone else, please come dress to impress. It's homecoming. Then again, that Friday, rad class. Here's the color code lineup. Freshmen, you are white and pure and innocent. Sophomores, you are gray but not yet jaded. Juniors, wear your red and seniors representing your black. More details about the senior shirts to come. Don't forget. I'm Moses. And I'm Christian. And this is Sports Center. Man, the Astros been looking very good this year. Yeah, the Astros played the wild card winner with a home field advantage. Justin Verlander joins the 300 club with a 3,000 strikeout of his career. He's the 18th player to do so. Astros are first in the AO and will face the winner of the wild card between the Tampa Bay Rays and the Oakland Athletics. Let's talk about NFL. NFL was supposed to recap from last week in scores. The Lions gave the Chiefs a run for their money with a score of 34 to 30. Chief come back to win, we probably have Mahomes throwing no look passes. No look runs too. The Saints with Teddy Bridgewater leading the charge comeback to knock the Dallas Cowboys, <clears throat> Cowgirls, I mean, the Cowboys with a score of 10 to 12. Top three games this weekend. Top three games this weekend you want to miss, so keep your eyes glued to the TV. I got mine's uh, Chiefs and the Colts, and also the Texans and the Atlanta Falcons. It's going to be a shootout between the, the two QBs. I got the Cowboys and the Packers. And with that, we're out of here. Wrapping up Hispanic Heritage Month with two really fun contests. One is a grito contest during all lunches on Monday and a live band on Thursday. The Fort Bend County Fair closes this weekend. Tonight, the carnivals open until midnight and there's still calf shows and barbecue awards. Neil McCoy performs at 10 on the main stage. Saturday night, David's, David Lewis and Judy Booth perform. On Sunday, Jane Hooker and the Outsiders perform. Looking ahead, there's a financial aid night on Tuesday here at Terry Height. Presentations start at 6. It's sponsored by the University of Houston, and reps will be here to explain the FAFSA and TAFSA. Computer and counselors will be here to help you fill out the forms. Bring all documents to create in, in FAFSA ID if you haven't done so before. See Ms. Winslow or Mr. Pepper in the college room for more information. We have some great teachers here, but we're not always sure how to pronounce some of their last names. We interviewed a few of our teachers who have a good sense of humor about how to pronounce their name. 
I'm Maddie, and I'm here with Coach Arterburn. We have a list of names that students mispronounce. What is? How do you pronounce your name? My last name is Arter Burn. I get Arte Burn and Atterburn, but kids who see me, it's Coach Arterburn, the baseball coach. Hi, my name is Mr. Swart. Uh, students are always messing up my name by saying Mr. Schwartz, adding like Z's to it and CH's, Swartz. Uh, people say Stewart. I don't know where Stewart comes from. There's not a T at the beginning. I don't get it. They even said that at my graduation. When I walked across the stage, they said Ryan Stewart. So. I don't know, my name always gets messed up, but it's Swart, like Wart with an S. Yeah. I'm Maddie and I'm here with Mademoiselle Iwunze. People have been mispronouncing a lot of names at Terry High School. How do you pronounce your name? Mademoiselle Iwunze. And what are some names that, how do they mispronounce your name? I've heard Miss Mademoiselle, Miss Mademoiselle, Iwunz, Iwunz. Yeah, everything. Okay, thank you. I'm here with Mr. Henninger. And how do people mispronounce your name? I pronounce it both ways. My dad pronounces it the right, correct German way, Henninger. Mm -hmm. And my mom pronounces it Henninger. So it's easier for everybody to say Henninger. So how does that sound? That sounds good. You guys want to take a vote? Is that easier? Two to three? Does yeah. That thank, you. Job, thank you. I'm Maddie, and I'm with Mrs. Gallion. How do people pronounce your name incorrectly? Uh, most often they say Galen, but it's pronounced just exactly like it's spelled, which is Galleon. ProGrad is already up and running. What is ProGrad? It's a project graduation, the all-night party following graduation. There's free food, lots of great prizes, gift cards, bouncy houses, and a lot of fun. You can already start earning points that go towards getting free tickets. How do I do that? Come to the program meetings and find out. The next one is Thursday, October 14th at 6.30 in the cafeteria. See Cameron Berry for more information. Auditions for Beauty and the Beast are after school on October 14th and 15th in the theater. See Ms. McManus for more information. You can also sign up at rangerstagecompany.webly.com. This weekend is probably one of the last really hot weekends of the year. Here's a rundown of what else you can expect over the weekend. What I like to tell my team is, specifically my tennis team, is failing is only um, what you make of it. If you decide that you're going to just buckle down and just hide from it, uh, then you let failure win. But if you decide to overcome that and be a better person, be a better athlete, and be a better human being, that's when failing really teaches you that you can rise above it. We hope you have a great weekend, Terry. And remember, raise your pride every day, every way. Keep on dancing, keep on dancing. Keep on.